Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I just had to wait a minute to actually start talking then. Um, I pressed the record button and then the minute I did this like really noisy motorbike, some sort of vehicle outside went by and I was just there like, can I talk yet? Yeah. Anyway, hi. Um, so today I am looking at some Kindy Kids Mini. So I have this super cute pack with Donatina here and I got her off Amazon and this pack was £10. Really, really cute. She comes with like a little... Uh, what would this be called? A little car, a little scooter car thing. So we're going to have a closer look at her. And then there's this little one here, Summer Peaches. And this is just a doll on her own. And she was from Tesco's and she was £5. Um, and my partner treated me to her, so that was nice. So let's actually start with the little car one first. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. I love this little artwork here. This is really, really cute. So these are free plus. So these are really, really suitable for like younger kids and adult collectors like me who just like cute things so yeah this was the first one i got and i ordered it off amazon and i must admit it's not as small as i thought they're kind of like i think like lol doll size so they're not like tiny i think i was expecting them to be like quite miniature um but they're still mini and they're so incredibly cute i love the little bobbly head and the faces look adorable the car looks a bit chunky, so I don't know if I'm going to collect many of the vehicles. We'll have to see. Um, but stuff like this, I'm just looking at it like, oh my god, that's going to take up a lot of space. Um, but yeah, it does look pretty cute. So here's what the back of the packaging looks like. And it just shows that they can sort of sit down. And I think that's a nice little feature. And they bobble along. Oh my god, has anyone seen the little like trailer or like, advert for these? Uh, it's so cute. It's like someone pushing them along and they're like bobbing. I just found that really, really adorable. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to open this. This is my first time looking at these. So it's just opened at the bottom and it looks like we do have a little checklist. I absolutely did not just cut myself with the scissors. So here are the little single dolls we can get. So I can say, well, we've got Summer Peaches. I really want Lippy Lulu, Pirouetta, and also Bella Boat is adorable. Rainbow Kate, I've never been a fan of her. Even with like the full size shoppy, she's just, I don't know, something about her. I don't find her that cute. And Marshmallow, I saw her in person. Um, I kind of want her, but I'm undecided at this point. So I'm going to see how much I like the others. Um, but I reckon I probably will end up getting probably at least Bella Boat and Lippy Lulu. Um, and then we have the little vehicle packs on the back. Um, again, not going to get the Rainbow Kate one. I don't really like the style of that. This one, I think the Marshmallow doll is really cute, but the bus is just going to be pretty big and I don't really like it that much. So I probably won't get that one unless I just saw the doll on its own. Although I do like this little scooter with Lippy Lulu, so I might be tempted to get her as well. Although that said, I do prefer the single doll version of her. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to see how much I like these and decide whether I want to get more. Um, but I think they're probably going to bring out a lot more on this line. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think they might bring out. I was talking to a friend about this the other day. They've done vehicles now and they've done characters, but they might bring out like little play sets or like little furniture sets. They did that with the big kindy kids where they were bringing out like, a, I think it was like a supermarket or a kitchen set. So that could be quite cool. So I don't know if it's an environmental thing, but they've used like this really strong kind of like paper twine stuff and you can barely cut through it with the scissors it's like so hard um so they've used that i just thought that might be interesting to know i don't know if that's more environmentally friendly so i'm really struggling to get this plastic bit off i really don't like the way they package toys these days i swear they are just so over complicated and like you can just cut yourself so easily but like, i've got quite delicate hands and like all this sharp plastic is a bad idea and also i don't want to like damage the toy by like trying to jab the scissors in there so not quite sure how they want you to open this. You're probably meant to pull it from the feet, but that bit just kind of pulled off. So bear with me. I will be back when I've done it. So I just managed to split that plastic. That is really difficult to get out, actually. I do not like that packaging. The car looks like it's going to be a bit easier, but I don't like how they put that plastic case in, like literally vacuum formed around the doll. But anyway, she's out and she's absolutely adorable. So I love her little face. She's really quite pale and she's got almost like orangey lips and kind of brown, orangey eyes. I love her hairstyle. These little like buns are so cute. And her head is obviously very wobbly. They feel quite heavy actually and the head definitely feels heavy. It almost feels like well there's like a spring and stuff in there so it feels quite weighted. 
You can move the arms up and down, so that's pretty cool. So there is a little bit of articulation to pose these, which is more than I expected for a little figure. So that's pretty good. And then of course she can actually sit. Oh, that's adorable. And we've got these holes, I'm assuming so she can stand up into things. And then here's the car, which thankfully was much easier to get out. It's just that, that vacuum form plastic that these toys are doing is not my thing. So here's what this little car looks like. This is really cute. It is quite chunky. It is very much to me like a baby toy, um, but I still quite like it. It is still adorable. There's this little flag at the back, which I think you can use to kind of push the car along. So it's got like a little, maybe a puppy face. Donuts for the wheels. The wheels are quite noisy. That's very squeaky. And the back one. Oh, so that's really cool. So as you turn it, you can see this bit here is actually kind of lifting up and down. So I'm really interested to see what that's going to look like, if it's going to like make her bob about. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cute little car. So it looks like she could potentially actually stand in it with that hole, but we're of course going to sit her down. And it reveals another little hole right there so we can put her into the car. So I managed to get her sat in. I must admit it's a little bit hard trying to match that hole up. For younger kids, that might be a little bit challenging. I feel like it could have been a bit easier. Even then, it doesn't feel like she's sat in properly. I don't know. I kind of want to push it down further, but I don't think it will go further. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. And then I assume when we're actually turning the wheel, she's kind of bobble around. But what I'm going to do is I'll flip the camera so we can actually kind of move this along and see what that looks like. But yeah, I mean, just for a display piece, she does look really, really cute sat in there. I would potentially be tempted to just stand her like in front of this and like display it like that. It's quite nice quality. I just feel like she could have sat in it a little bit better. And I'm not really keen on the hair material that's been used. So let's open up Summer Peaches now. And I'm praying that this is gonna be easier to open. Um, but yeah, so here's the packaging. So we have the design around here again. It's showing the little bobbly head and just says collect them all, but that's about it really. That's what the back looks like. So hopefully it's just gonna be one of those that we can peel it off. So it comes with a checklist, which will be the same as the one that we had. So that's obviously all the range that they've released so far. So this opens like a little capsule. Oh, this is much better, I think. And then, oh yes, that's better. And then that casing opens out. Okay, yeah, I like this packaging. This packaging was good. The one when it was like wrapped around her with the vehicle, I did not like that packaging. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. Oh my God, her hair. Oh my God, it's got a really like rubbery plastic smell. Sorry, I love that smell. Oh, it's just like childhood. She is so cute. Look at Summer Peaches. She is probably my favorite kindy kids character. Her hair actually feels slightly less rubbery. It's still kind of a weird texture, um, but it feels a lot harder and more plasticky than the other one. Look at her little face. I love her outfit. I love the little peach design and her shoes. They've almost got like a slight metallic look to them, which is really, really nice. So that's what she looks like when she sat. And of course her head does bobble about. And as before, her arms move. They are a little bit stiff to begin with. And unfortunately, a little bit of paint has kind of chipped off. I don't know if you can see it so closely, but where her arm was down, it's kind of almost stuck to her arm. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but I will just leave that arm down and then we won't notice it. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, these are really quite cute. So let's do a little close up to see them all a bit better. So here's what they look like. And you can see that they do stand up quite nicely. Um, they can be a little bit top heavy, but they do balance quite well. So here is some peaches. And then here is little Donatina, absolutely adorable. And so this is what the little car look like, really, really cute. I do like the little face. Like that there's some details inside it as well. So yeah, so when it comes to putting them in the car, it's just kind of matching that up there and then kind of pushing it in. It is a little bit tricky, kind of feels like you're going to break it. Um, and it doesn't seem to go all the way, which is a little bit annoying, but I just kind of shove it as best it can. So it's pretty cute the way she moves around. So you've got the seat moving and then her head's kind of bobbing about. The only thing I'd say you need to be careful with is this bit is like, again, quite um, balanced strangely. So if you even put a little bit of pressure, like hardly any, it flips up a bit. And then we can switch out and let's try Summer Peaches in the car. There we go, they do wedge in quite well. Oh, 
<laughs> her head really shakes like she's saying no please stop and thankfully the wheels don't seem to squeak as much when they're actually being moved so yeah that's good so what did you guys think of the Kindy Kids minis? I thought they were pretty cute. Um, I will be tempted to get some more. Um, yeah, I just like the little dolls. They're my favorite bit. The way that these little characters look is incredibly cute in this size and they're just so happy and colorful. So I do really like these. Um, the car was still pretty cool, but I'm not like as a fan of that as much as the dolls. Um, but yeah, I'll be interested to see if they bring out any play sets or anything else. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.